Hello everyone. Early morning, I noticed that the floor area is wet. And a lot of floating plants like duckweeds are scattered everywhere. Only to find out that one of my fish tank is badly damaged. And only a small amount of water is left inside a fish tank. For your information, this is the tank where I place all my female purple mosaic guppies. All the water came out in the side since this is where the glass is broken. Earlier when I was still not holding my camera, I was able to rescue four female guppies in this vacant aquarium rock since this is just beside the damaged fish tank. So you can see a lot of duckweed plants scattered here. Luckily, the four females I rescued earlier are all alive and currently I placed them back to their tank. As you can see, all the females are still very weak and now they are recovering. But one female is still missing since there are five females I placed in this tub. And hopefully that female is still alive. I decided to mop the floor since it's very messy and wet. While cleaning, I noticed something moving under the aquarium rock. And to my surprise, it was the missing female guppy. She was very smart to hide in the spot where there are still stock water from the fish tank, enough for her body to remain wet so she won't die. For safety, I decided to use a piece of flat material so I can scoop her and bring her to the fish tank right away. I then continue cleaning the floor and you can see a lot of water is stuck under the rock. As always, I started my early morning routine with removing moringa leaves and moringa flowers inside the fish tubs. While removing moringa leaves on top surface of my outdoor tubs, I was very disappointed to see a lot of guppies are floating and all of them are dead. Although I can still see some guppy fries are swimming inside. This is the circle tub where I place temporarily here because I'm still conditioning the new tubs for them. I realized it was too hot yesterday and was too busy I forgot to place cover on this tub. So all of them were cooked outside. I'm very disappointed with myself and this is a lesson for me as a fish keeper. Anyway I caught all the dead guppies inside the tub including the juvenile guppies. This is very disappointing since there are also pregnant females here and some juvenile guppies. I also decided to catch all the baby guppies inside and realized there are 9 baby full gold guppies. At the moment, it will be best to temporarily place them in a small tank where they can rest and recover. I place all the baby guppies inside this small white cup to acclimate them before releasing. It's been 4 hours since I left all the fish inside a broken tank. I decided to disconnect the air supply and remove the fish tank from the rock and bring it to the outdoor. Here we can see a longest crack from top to bottom and this is actually repairable using a sealant. This is a very old tank of mine and all of the sealants in the corners are already worn out so I will not use this tank anymore. Before disposing this tank, we will catch all the female guppies we have in this tank. We will also take the filter out. This sponge filter has lots of algae in it, but we can still use this again after we clean all this stuff. Anyway, I decided to dismantle the fish tank since we can no longer use it. As you can see, the female have regained their health, and now they are active again. Since all my tabs are occupied, and the only vacant tab is these two tabs right here that we set up three days ago. Today I can already see a lot of white substances floating on top surface. I usually condition the tabs for one week to make it very safe for the fish. But today I am forced to use one of the tabs so I will have to remove all these white substances on top surface. I also see a lot of bird seed shells and grass on top surface because my birds are already nesting. After cleaning the tub, it's time to acclimate the female guppies before releasing them. Meanwhile, I have released the baby guppies to the viewing tank, and unfortunately, one of the fry did not survive. I decided to transfer the baby guppies in this plastic cup 
and remove the dead fish using my dropper. The babies will be transferred to the tub where I place juvenile and baby full gold guppies as well. While acclimating, I decided to feed my baby dumbo ear guppies that we transferred here three days ago. I also wanted to check their growth, so I used my viewing tank to catch some of the baby guppies. And I can see that the baby guppies are healthy, and the bloated tummy means they are eating well. I also feed my baby guppies we harvest last week and check their growth at the same time. For now, I don't see any signs of health issues. If we look closer, they have straight body and wide open caudal and tummy is full which means they are very healthy. After acclimating, it's time to release the guppies to their new home. The guppies must be very hungry after the tragedy so I decided to give them a small amount of brine shrimp. I also released the baby guppies to the stub and fed all of them with baby brine shrimps. And you can see how they enjoy eating these live foods. By the way, I decided to empty the stub so we can use this for growing baby guppies. And now it's time to fill up the stub with water. This tub is around 20 gallons, so it's going to be a perfect growing tub for our baby guppies. We will condition this tub for a week so we can use it in the future. So that's all for today and thanks for watching.